Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Let's see, we have a battle here. Pennsylvania, and a couple of cruisers, versus a Caillou-class battleship, and a DD. On paper, it should be a pretty even fight, but I think my Pennsylvania will uh, handle it quite easily. the cruisers. They can just, um, as usual, follow the capital ship. Scoring them hits. They are on low fuel, of course. Oh, that was loud. Okay. The DD is gone. Probably not bad uh, <laughs> that we got rid of it. I was considering maybe switching to it as the target, but the Pennsylvania took care of that on her own. We're taking return fire. Actually hitting. Let's bring the cruisers in close, and ooh, that DD did launch torpedoes. It died so quickly I was sure uh, it didn't have time to get them um, in the water, but yeah, good thing they didn't hit. speed a little bit. Make the Pennsylvania harder to uh, hit. So the main thing I'm trying to do with my cruisers now is to uh, increase the damage instability of the enemy battleship. Well, their smaller guns can't really do that much damage to it, especially in naval uh, arms race. Where the whole fire thing has been um, reduced quite a bit in um, effectiveness compared to what it is in the unmodded game. Yeah, she's 40% uh, damage instability now. The maximum should be 50. Oh, there we go. Actually extensive fire. Yeah, took care of it. Now let's see um, what we can make happen. Uh, my Iowas are no longer in Pearl Harbor. They got sent here. This is down to 48 
percent chance of uh, success because Japan suddenly has some ships in the area. Which means this might fail next turn. It's a battleship and three torpedo boats. Uh, this is 54%. Got two turns remaining. Uh, the French have a uh, heavy cruiser in the area. Hmm. And we are researching just a larger um, heavy cruiser. Is there anything else interesting being researched? I mean, it's mostly just incremental improvements. Other than the uh, the armor thing, the Turney cemented um, armor is quite good. A little bit less armor strength than uh, improved crop cemented. But you get plus 15% resistance. This one is also nice. Just makes the uh, the armor lighter. That's, yeah, Mark V 8 inch guns. And with that, the small guns uh, tech tree branch is going to be finished. Yeah, we're a little bit over uh, capacity. Not much, though. Yeah, because of Pennsylvania getting repaired for one month. and San Juan and Oakland and of course all the uh, all the new battlecruisers being built and the battleships for Poland uh, these are going to need names I renamed uh, these ones uh, again the uh, the Polish battleships after regions in Poland I just went on the Google to find that. And the Pakistani battleship also after a uh, region. So, let's go on to April. See if uh, we can get some battles. Okay, my unrest has not gone up. My province controlled has gone up. So, I think the invasion of Saipan actually, uh, actually worked. Being accused of war crimes. Mm, yeah, I can afford this. One submarine. A French one. It sank. Another one. Heavy damage to St. Louis. It's an old Albany class. And an actual battle. Uh, sadly, it's not the Iowa's. It's again a Pennsylvania class. Yeah, I think it's gonna work though. I mean, I have a lot more uh, light cruisers in this detachment than um, the last one and DDs. Weather is not too good. Yeah, it's overcast. Where am I? Okay. You can just join up with the other uh, DDs. Uh, 
Okay, yeah. Off. And these light cruisers. Spokane having taken uh, a bit of damage. Can just follow Tallahassee. USS Trenton has already spotted the enemy. Actually, uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can kill the uh, the torpedo boats first. What kind of torpedo range do you have? Nine kilometers. Should be possible to kill them first. That is the battleship. It's not low on fuel this time. Uh, snack on these easy targets No, it is low on fuel. Ooh. Oh, well, we did sink it uh, by extensive fire. I was going to go, go in with a uh, torpedo attack. But that's fine. Alright, alright. Thailand is independent. That's not the one I was invading, was it? No, it's not. Let's get these into Manila. And uh, these can participate in this invasion. Accompanied by Pennsylvania. So they can uh, join up again. Once I've taken Anam, it's. I think I'm gonna try and take um, Cambodia? Guangzhou Wan is. soon gonna be in the hands of the Chinese. Which is fine. Even if I were to start an invasion now. Uh, I don't think I would beat the Chinese to it. <laughs> they got an army of. 10 million. 
attacking an army of uh, 215,000. What kind of um, army logistics are we looking at here? French have 100. Uh, China only has 31%. Anyone else? Um, Spain has 57. Austria, Hungary, Germany, Italy, Britain, and myself all have 100%. Okay. Yeah, no longer over capacity. Which means things should be progressing um, decently fast. Yeah, six months for this uh, New Mexico uh, class battleship to be ready. Sold to Poland. My torpedo boats is being repaired in Danzig. Anything else? Uh, got the North Carolina and Washington trying to uh, lure out the French. Get a battle going. Uh, here's the mighty. Um, Polish, Polish Navy with its five battle cruisers and two battleships. With three more battleships being built for them. Actually, how many am I building? For Poland? Yeah, three more and a heavy cruiser. And Alaska, uh, Pakistan is buying one of my new Alaska class battle cruisers. about to have some very uh, very powerful minor nations in this campaign of course Poland only has one port in one region so if they lose Western Poland for example to a land invasion by Germany uh, all their ships are just gonna disappear I think No, wait, that didn't happen uh, in my last campaign, my German campaign. I was allied to Venezuela. They had bought a lot of ships from me. And Venezuela was then invaded by the United States. And I still got a lot of Venezuelan ships uh, coming to help me in battles. In the Mediterranean of all places. So, yeah. Who really knows how that works? Yeah, the Arkansas and Saratoga. They were sent down here to uh, make sure the French didn't invade the Galapagos Islands. And I didn't pay attention, but I think it worked. I think they were able to uh, increase the um, required tonnage of that invasion enough that it failed. in the New York here because yeah that's where the uh, New Mexico is and some ships up for sale no one has bought them yet so keep them up for a few more months and then I'm just gonna scrap them I think well maybe keep some as museum ships let's go to May see what happens let's see war continues my unrest went up. My province controlled did not go up. So that means the invasion of Vietnam must have failed. Bunch of admirals getting fired. Important convoy raid. We got the Ames and San Juan. Chasing down a convoy of four transports. Let's go. Oh, you're coming 
from way back there. Well, looks like the Ames is on her own for a while. The convoy has been spotted. That is the heavy cruiser. What kind of ship is this? It's a lot of 6.2 inch guns. It's 10 6.2 inch guns. Well, Ames is 12. And these are the uh, the DDs. I'm gonna go up here first. Kill the DDs, then the transports. And um, I think just ignore the cruiser until um, the San Juan arrives. Because her 7 inch guns might. Uh, I don't know what kind of armor this has. It might not be too impressive. What torpedoes do you have? Because of course it has torpedoes. 10 kilometers. There we go, getting some hits. Oh, you have torpedoes in the water. Well, you have one. The torpedo boat's dead. And San Juan has entered the chat. Let's try AP. See if we can get some flooding. What kind of armor do you have? Ooh, no, we cannot pen that, I think. It's 11.5 inch plate. That's what they had when building it, I guess. Like, someone tell Japan that it's possible to make um, armor plate of different thicknesses? Yeah, Yatsugatake is actually um, being very mean to the Ames right now.
So convoys are dead. Let's get today's um, thumbnail. There we go. So how did they um, actually make the ship with all this armor? How is it not overweight? Standard bulkheads. Now that's better armored than a lot of AI battleships I've seen. intent on following the aims. So I'm gonna try and draw it towards the San Juan. has suffered more crew losses than the Ames. Probably because it has a lot of unprotected um, secondary guns and torpedo launchers. Ames, San Juan to the rescue.
still has torpedoes. Just the underwater launchers. You could just actually uh, fire your 7 inch guns more often. Might do more damage. Oof, no, that's not good. And that's not very good for the San Juan. Explosion of the 5 inch uh, magazines. is suffering from angles being healed over not follow yeah no I think this is the end of the San Juan was so close to getting it too, but then the uh, ammunition went and blew up. It's still closer to surrendering than uh, either of my ships. It's just that San Juan is dangerously close to actually flooding. Oh yes, we got her. That was close. That's one pretty scary Otago class heavy cruiser. Oh yeah, at least it costs about the same as both of mine combined, so... Yeah, win is a win. Even though these two will probably not um, be repaired for quite a while. And by the time they are, this war might be over. And um, after a couple of years of peace, they might just be obsolete. Undefended port? Well, it wasn't supposed to be undefended. There were ships here. That's why I parked my ships outside of it, but okay. What? But aren't these in Asia? Why do they get a meeting here? <laughs> well, okay. 
Yeah, it's one of these with the 18.2 inch guns. That's fine. I was hoping it was one of the Iowa tennis courses that got the battle though, but okay. Another French super battleship. My Pennsylvanias have sunk one of those before. Actually, let's not just follow the uh, the battle cruisers. Uh, I don't know what my DDs are trying to do, but they will probably be the ones that get to uh, to sink that battle cruiser so my plan is to um, have my battle cruisers sink the enemy light cruiser then get in with my uh, my own light cruisers to just keep uh, keep pouring fire at the uh, at the enemy battle cruiser until it's got some more of that damage instability. 15 kilometer torps. Why you only have two torps? We've been spotted first? No sign of the light cruiser yet. There it is. Light cruiser sighted. Kill it. Do we have torpedoes? Apparently not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you just target the ship I'm ordering you to target? And you too? No, it did have torpedoes. There we go. Stop with the formation bullshit. Torpedoes away. I 
guess I need to bring you guys in for another pass. Well, you launched. That dead light cruiser was in the way. Wow, extensive fire. Okay. Yeah, a little bit dirty, but fine. My light cruiser took way too long to sink. Probably because my at some point my battle cruisers decided no, they wanted to shoot the battleship. But yeah, it's a victory. Augusta took mine damage. Yeah, no control of Anam. So, we're just gonna have to try that again. It has to be quick before China takes it. Let's see, was it... Um yeah, this is the task force we just had in combat off the coast of Africa. Meanwhile, none of our ships are doing anything about these two Japanese DDs just uh, roaming about in the Caribbean. Where's the best way to actually get some combat against the French? Got a battlecruiser in Toulon. Two heavy cruisers in Meris El Kabir. Anything in French Africa? Not that much. Really. No, Le Havre is the... Um, their port with the most ships in it. Well, it's got one battleship and five submarines. So... With five submarines, maybe... Maybe let's find somewhere else to uh, hang out. Actually, what these are gonna do... They're just gonna move to... What's the biggest port I have in the Caribbean? They're not that big, are they? Most of them are kind of small. Fort de France. Just hang there on sea control and hope they get some kind of battles or convoy battles or anything. Basically. But yeah, that's um, that's it for this episode, I think. Let's see, what are we getting for uh, big guns? Mark V, 11 inch. We can make some juicy big cruisers with those. Uh, engines, that's gas turbines, yeah. I 
can make some really fast ships with those. But that will be at a later date. Goodbye, and take care.